I thought I'd do a very quick video um, about why these doors have got corrosion in them, these front doors. And it's got the sunshine behind the car, so it's not really ideal. But you can see that there's the rust there. It's right where that rubber bung is. Now this is a significant shot. That's why I've got it, you know, in, the, in this frame here. You can see the corrosion. And assume that should pass a road whether you like that. Doors for these are not very hard to get. But the question is, why is this door corroded? It hasn't corroded here. It's actually corroded. You know where you'd expect it not to corrode. It's corroded where there's, you know, more or less of a chamber. Um, well, it's simply because people park cars under trees and they don't read the book. This book here. Whatever brand of car you have, you're guaranteed to have one of these books that comes with the car. Now shit like this, it kind of makes me annoyed because there's no reason for this to happen. The only reason is that people are lazy. Very lazy people that own cars or, or drive them. This book tells you what you need to know to keep the car in good condition. You've got to note there's actually a, um, some rust here too. But there's also a plug here. And um, if you look under the door somewhere, there's these... I don't know well this is showing up because I can't really see the LCD. We've got these here. And we've got them here. Now, why would the door need cleaning out? Because leaves and things make their way between the glass and this ceiling strip here. And they end up in the door cavity. Well, if anyone's ever had a compost heap, even if all you put on there is lawn clippings or autumn leaves, they disappear at some point. Where did they go? Excuse me. Where'd they go? They broke down. Um, due to bacteria, due to whatever, fungus, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a um, compost expert, but the, the actions of nature break it down into basically its constituents. So they go from being leaves and God knows what else to being dirt and whatever else. And that's significant because when leaves break down, one of the things they produce is acid. Acid, well, that's not good for cars that, in general because cars are made of steel. Uh, unless you pay an absolute fortune to get something with, you know, an aluminium space frame clad with something like fiberglass you're going to have a steel body car, whether it's a Toyota or whether it's a Holden or whether it's anything in America made by whatever company. So really what I'm getting at here is if you read the book, if I get this book out, this is in the washing chapter which you should have read, which no one obviously ever does and I'm not even going to bother zooming right in on it so you can read it but you can pause that if you wish. Also, I don't really recommend using so much as a screwdriver. Um, also up the very top. Um, somewhere else. There we go. Before washing the paint, check that the door drain holes are not blocked. The underbody should also be cleaned to, to remove deposits of mud and corrosive products. Where would you check? Well, the first places you're going to check are on the inside of these wheel arches because dirt likes to collect here. And how long does mud take to dry out? A very long time. I've had cars where it's been 20 odd degrees Celsius days and um, the mud deposits under wheel arches have been dry. So pull out these drain holes and give it a clean out. You have no excuse. They are easy to get out and easy to get back in. Very, very straightforward stuff. So go out and do it now if you haven't already done it. Even if your car's brand new, it's going to fill up with junk in the doors. And if you give a crap about your car, never ever park it under a tree. Because that will eventually kill the car. Leaves get into places and they cause corrosion. Dust, dirt doesn't dry out anytime soon, so clean it off.